Hello, everyone. Welcome to January 24 Social Equity Committee meeting. Um, I'd like to call this meeting to order at 4.01. Um, and I would like to, well, first, let's take roll call. Jackie, are you there? No, I'm here today. This is Chris. Oh. Hi, Chris. Hi. If, you, if you would like to take roll, that would be great. Sure. Uh, committee member Toon. She's here. muted. I see her. Committee member Coleman. Here. Committee member Duez. Present. Committee member Mansfield. Here. Uh, committee member Morales. Present. And mm -hmm. Council member Such. Here. And everybody is here. Thanks, Chris. Um, I'd like to just start. Uh, our new city administrator, Melissa Eads, is, has signed on, and I just would like to introduce Melissa um, and welcome her. Uh, Melissa, I'm sorry I didn't give you a heads up, but if you'd like to just say just a few words, that would be lovely. Perfect. Hello, everyone. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for this opportunity to participate, and I look forward to meeting all of you and uh, working with this committee as you move your agenda and missions forward. So thank you, and uh, if you'd like to reach out to me, I'm over at City Hall, um, and I love one-on-one -on -one time, so if you'd like a meeting, please give me a call because I would love uh, an opportunity to meet you. Thanks. Thanks, Melissa. Thank you. Welcome, Melissa. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> I need some, I need some need for someone to make a motion to approve the agenda, or excuse me, the, cons the consent calendar, um, which is, which um, is the minutes from June 28th, July 12th, and July 26th. Anyone? I motion to approve the consent agenda. Thanks, Mercedes. I have a second. I'll second. Okay, thank you. All in favor say aye. 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 Um, I just have a, just one quick, well, I'll tell Jackie. I, my name's misspelled in one place. I was going to talk to say that, but I'll tell her just privately. Um, okay, approval of the agenda. Can someone make a motion to approve the agenda? I will motion to approve. Thanks, Elisa. I second. Thanks, Mercedes. All in favor, aye. 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 Sounds like it passes unanimously. Um, so now I would like to open this up to public comment. The public may address the committee on any item of public interest, not otherwise on the agenda, that is within the jurisdiction of the city. No action may be taken. Matters to be addressed may be referred to city staff or placed on subsequent meeting agendas. Speakers are limited to three minute, a uh, three minute presentation. Would, does anyone, would anyone from the public like to speak? At this point. Kristen has his hand up. Okay, thank you. Kristen, hi Kristen. I uh, await hearing a land acknowledgement at the beginning of meetings. I know. That would be lovely. Thanks, Tristan. Anybody else have any, would anyone else like to speak? Okay, I don't see any more public comment. So I'm gonna to, going to move to our one item, which is discussion and possible action of a resolution in support of racial justice. Um, <clears throat> last week, or excuse me, last meeting, that was a couple of weeks ago, we um, skipped white supremacy, the conversation about white supremacy culture, because um, Darren was um, absent and not, be able, not able to participate. Um, and we, so we actually moved forward to, on, on the table, it's page six. I don't know if in the packet it's, the pages are numbered differently, but it's page six on the table and it's 5H. The question is, do you want to work on white supremacy culture today or do you want to move on, move as we did last week, last meeting, and then come back to white supremacy culture? Any thoughts? 
I would vote to keep going forward because we are making such good progress and you know that discussion does take quite quite a bit of time so I my vote would to continue and come back okay thanks Alisa anyone else have thoughts about that um I, I just would like to kind of get an idea we had talked before about um the possibility of meeting next Monday for a third Monday in the month since we have an extra Monday and we miss one over the holiday. Um, I agree with Elisa, we are, we've are we got some good traction right now and I think we can have this wrapped up um, in just a few weeks, but that conversation is um, a piece of this and we are all here. Uh, I don't know if anyone has done any brainstorming around that, but um, mm -hmm. I think if we mm -hmm. don't have the conversation this month, or I'm sorry, this meeting, then perhaps we can have it at the next one so that we can kind of keep our progress. But I feel like between finishing the rubric and wrapping up that piece, um, we should be we should be coming to um, completion here pretty quickly. Yeah, me and Colette had a good conversation about it. And <clears throat> with you guys moving forward, I went back and watched the video. I think don't stop progress. Maybe we... Uh, that for one more meetings so that way that we can get uh good stuff under our belt and then come back thanks darren um i really like the forward progress we're making and i like the progress we made at the last meeting um melissa i, I don't want to put you on the spot so um you don't have to answer today but what uh nikki coleman is talking about is um we meet social equity meets on the second and fourth Monday of the month. And um, next Monday is the fifth Monday. And often when there's a fifth Monday, Monday especially if we've missed a meeting, as we did um, right after Christmas, um, we use that fifth Monday to make up that time. So you don't have to give us an answer tonight. Um, I just kind of want to put that out there. Um, and that would be lovely if we, if we could do that. Um, just because I know that the council is interested in having this on the council, city council agenda. And so any kind of progress we can make before that would be helpful. So. Absolutely. And I will just look at the calendar right now. Councilwoman, is there anything that you believe would prevent um, meeting on that day? Not, 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 not typically. Um, okay. usually that things usually what um, you know the first and third Monday is City Council, and then the second Monday is Planning Commission right after our meeting. So we can't ever stay late on the second meeting. On the fourth meeting, we often stay for an hour and a half instead of an hour. I didn't ask you to do that because I feel like it's kind of soon in your your tenure here. <laughs> um, I just didn't want to add that to to your plate but you know on the fifth monday there typically isn't anything going on in city hall but i am not the one to i'm not the one who really knows that okay well i am here to support the committee uh looking right now at the calendar i'm not aware of anything that is in the way uh if the committee wishes to move forward i i will commit staff to support the committee at that meeting thank you thank you and perhaps if just if you find out as the week progresses that that's not possible just we can you can let us know okay great thank you so much nathan's got his hand up i, I was just going to call him hey nathan council member such thank you hey just um you know my i tend to think that this is a significant issue and i'd kind of like to get it out of the way everyone wants to seem to wait till next week and that's completely fine with me i just wouldn't like to put it off any further if um i think we should if we're not going to do it today let's do it next Monday and let's get the issue settled. I, I mean, I think, I, I, just, I, I just think perhaps if another week to just kind of think about the sword we're all willing to die on or not um, might be helpful. And just to, to follow up after a meeting where we make good progress and a good forward motion might be helpful for that. So, I mean, I, and, and I think both positions are valid. I mean, I, I certainly do, but white supremacy culture is by far our most difficult <clears throat> conversation 
in this committee. And um, I think that we have learned to, to continue to have it civilly, which I'm really, and I'm really proud of that as I know that there are very different, differing opinions um, and uh, as there are in the public. So if uh, I just would like to, to put our best face forward with this one um, so we get it right. So I think, so it's, um, I think we're probably going to just keep moving forward with our whereas and therefore statements. And so every, I, I am waiting. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, you know, I don't see the entire screen. Maybe yeah, I you're not on mine either, Mercedes. Sorry, let me make it bigger. Um, Mercedes. Okay. Um, I would like to propose that we dedicate, let's say it's 413, that we dedicate 30 minutes to move forward or 20, depending on how we move. And we did dedicate the last five minutes to brainstorm in some of the options to address white supremacy culture, because we have been talking about that. So I think we can do both, move forward, and then dedicate a short time. Uh, and when I said to brainstorm, it's like there are so many ways to address the concept without necessarily saying the same words. Right. I think that's a great idea. What does everyone else think about that? Can I ask a question? No, I'm sorry. It's not, it's not open for public comment. Do you have a definition of white it's, supremacy? It's, it's, can you wait until you we do public comment in the middle? <clears throat> we'll do that again and then you can ask. We're not allowed to answer the questions that you do during that, but we can come up with something like that for you. I know it's frustrating coming into something and not really seeing it all. Um, I just wanted to voice that I I think what Mercedes said was just a great idea um, and kind of thinking outside of the box. And the, the thing I like about um, kind of brainstorming at the end is that that'll give us all opportunity to go home and do some work between now and next meeting so that we can actually do some writing and um, brainstorming to bring next week. I, I agree. I think it's a, what Nikki just said and what Mercedes just said. I think it's a great idea and it's a great way to step into that conversation again. Okay, so <clears throat> From my notes, um, we left off at 5H, <clears throat> which is page six on the table. Can I share my screen yeah. or Chris yeah. will be able to share? Yeah. Could you, can, can you co make Mercedes co-host so yes, screen please? Thanks, Chris. I wrote that down to ask Mercedes and I forgot. Perfect. So you want to go back one page, Mercedes. You're on page seven and we need page six. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. There we go. Oh, oh, not that far, not that far. There we go. <clears throat> so we ended with 5H, therefore the city of Sonora will promote an atmosphere of inclusion, listening and addressing disparities that may arise in its future focused on the, our community's needs and values. Okay, 5I, whereas we desire <laughs> to be a place where all are welcome and treated with empathy, respect and fairness. I think we just, actually, I feel like we talked about that one, but um, we have empathy in up at the top of the page and 5E. Um, there was conversation that empathy was, the word empathy was important in this document. So I don't think we need um, 5I. 5J, whereas the city of Sonora acknowledges its responsibility to be a socially and racially equitable community. Yeah, I think we finalized that one last week, that and 5L. 
We did. <clears throat> I just found end of discussion 110.22. So 5L, therefore the city of Sonora and its community pledges to be a refuge, refuge and ally and provide a safe zone to people of all racial, ethnic and multicultural backgrounds. That was the beginning of the therefores. Okay, so now we're at 6A. Therefore, the city of Sonora, in partnership with the Social Equity Committee and community engagement partners, will work to identify any existing disparities and systemic barriers, while also celebrating existing efforts and processes that foster diversity, inclusion, and acceptance. I don't know who that one belongs to, but I quite like it. That one, that was that yours, Mercedes? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I think we had one that was similar. I remember um, before we talked about, um, you know, the importance of action items, but also the importance of acknowledging the systems and processes that um, already work well and that are already equitable. And I think as um, time goes on and we find out what those are, um, just just making sure that we acknowledge those as well um, is important. Can I play devil's advocate a little bit here? And it's not anything to do with that, but this committee is not absolute. It's not forever. So putting it as the city of Sonora in its partnership with the social equity committee, I mean, let's be real, it could be gone tomorrow. I think that it shouldn't word that way, but it should be wording existence with the community, some kind of thing, but this group isn't forever. So having it worded like that and then the social equity doesn't exist in a year or two years or three years, it would be, it wouldn't make sense. Can we think of a better terminology to come up with that. I would like to add to that, that it's true that so far, there is, this is not a permanent committee. However, if we look at the trend that is happening in cities across the nation, the pattern is that cities and counties are creating equity. You can call it groups, you can call it committee, you can call it, I don't know, anything, but there are a series of uh, movements for that because obviously, it is a need. What do you think about changing it to social, social equity community groups instead of committee because it takes away? There's a lot of groups that do this and being able to work with a bunch of them instead of working, you know, we might not all be here, my new people, this group might not be here, but coming up with a good terminology for that going forward. If we even choose this one, I know there's more to go on for there, but that one was the hang up, but I, I was reading on it. Yeah, there are more, but I think that the groups you are mentioning are on their partners. Right, right. <clears throat> so then would that be more so, cause I, I'm kind of with, I kind of agree with Darren on this part with the social equity committee being named itself. So, I mean, is it something different if we say partners instead of social equity committee or the community? Um, cause I agree. Absolutely. You know, I'm a part of another group that meets regularly and we talk about these same kind of things. Um, so I agree. I think whether we change that to partners, but I wouldn't, I don't really like the social equity committee in there. I, I picture all of us, you know, kind of being here whenever, um, when I see that, I just see our faces and I, I agree with Darren that, you know, the committee can change, people can change. And I just feel like that's kind of fixed. Um, what I will say about that is the city of Sonora isn't really in partnership with those other groups if there isn't a committee. This, how, this how one's Merced. Oh, go ahead. How does the city of Sonora partnership have it be in partnership with other? And this is a question, not a statement. But how does the city of how is the city of Sonora in partnership with? those other groups. And <clears throat> if we talk about those other groups, there's the equity committee with in the behavioral health department, there's um, a diversity and equity committee working at the college who has expressed interest in partnering with the city. Can um, we give Mercedes 
a, a little bit of time to come back up with a, I know this is her, so I don't want to rob her and say we're going to put all of our thoughts into her verbiage, but can we give her another little bit of time to come back to that one? Because with the movement forward, everyone's pretty much, you know, let's figure something out, but it is hers. Thank you, Darren. Well, I, I suggest that we look at the other statements because we have 6A, 6B, 6C, and then we can try to combine as we have done with the others. I am not attached to any of the words or the statement. So let's continue. Well, and I was just saying real quick, just before that, it says the city of Sonora and its community, that could almost be here, the city of Sonora and its community will work to identify. So that's a suggested to throw out there. Yeah, with that, I also wanna sort of revisit what Colette said, however, because I don't just wanna put words on paper, um, really without a social equity committee to be the liaison and the bring kind of bring everyone together, how, how would that be feasible? How would the city do that? And so, um, and that's not up to us, right? I mean, we can dream and we can have, um, you know, ideas and, and make suggestions, but ultimately um, our future is in the hands of the council. So I do right. think it's, um, you know, sort of putting the cart before the horse to assume, but I also um, think for those of us that want to dream and, and turn this into um, a community engagement committee and um, a standing committee, you know, um, is, is, is a dream, but I'm not sure if this is the right place for that. Well said, Nikki. And um, in my experience during the last 20 years here in Cholomi County, I, I would like to say that there has been many, many initiatives, but because they have been groups in the community without the projection that the county or the city can give and to bring together all those groups, those groups have really not moving forward in their own. So something to consider. But like I said, let's not be stopped there. Let's uh, read the other statements and maybe we can combine. Yeah. <clears throat> six B, there's a lot of overlap between six A and six B. Six B, therefore the city of Sonora in partnership with the social equity committee and community engagement will develop a plan within 120 days to achieve intended outcomes and report measurable progress to the community every six months. All right. I think Elisa had a, a real, uh, sorry, Alyssa, Elisa, I screwed it up all the time. Um, she had a good one there. It says, you know, the city of Sonora in partnership with the community. That would be, you know, the, the a lap we could do there to eliminate just that first portion, but the rest of it, um, Planning achievements that kind of feel like that's putting the cart before the horse too. Are, you, are we talking about 6B, Darren? Yes, yes, sorry, 6B. You know, the plan of within 120 days to achieve intended outcomes, that's putting the cart before the horse again. We don't have them yet. We don't have that there. I'm not saying I'm opposed to that. It's just another one of those devil's advocate things, sorry. Yeah, and that was in mine. I don't know. But I mean, respectfully, this is this is our suggestion, right? So yes, um, these are just suggestions for us to present to the council, and they can approve or deny them. Um, but in our therefore statements, in response to the whereas, as we're moving through this, kind of giving those actionable items, and that, mm -hmm. um, you know, that obviously I think is part of the point of our resolution. And again, it would be in the hands of the council. Right, um, we're gonna be pushing the people asking about what are our intended outcomes. We're gonna need, I mean, people are already asking for us to define everything. So when we say to achieve intended outcomes, who's, what's, where, when, why, that's a whole nother long list. And I'm not I'm not saying anything negative. I, sounds like it, Nikki, you're, you're 
take it a little bit from that one. And please don't, I just raise questions that I sit here and read it as if I was a general person and didn't see this group or know anything about it. Reading a resolution. A couple of things. So the intended outcomes in a general way are about equity, right? So and develop a plan within 120 days. So I think we need to go back to what the other statement said to be able to read what are those outcomes. Right, this is just putting action to our whereas. And exactly. Copy that. So combine yeah. those two and kind of cross over both of them. Yeah. I was just gonna say the same thing, Darren. I think uh, not to revisit 6A, but those intended outcomes and measurable progress is sort of hinted on at the end of 6A, right? Um, identifying existing disparities and also celebrating um, existing, existing efforts. efforts. I think there's a great opportunity to combine those two. Yeah. So let's let, let let's do that, and then, you know, we can we can revisit this one as well. Six um, C. Therefore, the city of Sonora invites other jurisdictions, especially those in rural communities and local organizations and leaders, to adopt this resolution so that we may come together in a united front against racism, hate, intolerance and violent extremism. I feel like I'm being an a-hole again, but I'm gonna be that uh, devil's advocate. We're, we're kind of the, the ones behind the ball, to be honest. Most of the other communities have done resolutions around us and, and we're using some of their verbiage for it. So when we say we invite them to use ours, it's kind of like we're behind the ball. I, I, I disagree. I, I disagree. <laughs> I disagree too. <laughs> for, 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 for actually in I, we are putting forward something that we believe in. So it's totally legitimate to ask others to join us in the effort of being more equitable, inclusive, to foster Copy. I, maybe I'm empathy. reading that wrong. I, I get the bottom portion. My, I'm just focusing on the top and maybe again, not the smartest person in the world, but when I read that, it, it basically to me says, hey, Merced, you need to adopt our resolution. That, that's how it reads to me, not be with us and come up with your own resolution for whatever it is you guys needed. But that that's how I interpret that one. Would, would you be... Would it be easy? First of all, it's we're talking to rural communities here, especially not really. Uh, I was going to say Mariposa, but I Merced came out. I'm sorry. Because I, I bet I don't think Mariposa. Probably, well, I'm not going to make a statement about Mariposa. Um, yeah. um, and maybe we could change the word "adopt" um, to to. Um, Where's our wordsmith? I was just thinking we could say adopt a similar resolution so that we can come together. Adopt this resolution or a similar one, something along those lines. Well, if we keep adopt, it should be a similar resolution, but I, to embrace or something, you know, just or support. I don't, you know, I don't know if we should be telling another. It, yeah. seems, it seems like that 6C was taken from maybe another city resolution. So I would like to see other jurisdiction, especially those in rural communities, deleted, and maybe to say something like, therefore, the city of Sonora invites local organizations and leaders to adopt this or to embrace this resolution so that we may come together, et cetera, et cetera. I like that. that would make a lot more sense. Yeah, I, I agree with that. And I also, I think, in speaking to Darren's point about other communities who have written resolutions, um, I will say, and I think it speaks to how we engage as a committee and um, 
the time we've been able to spend together on this, but I do think that the end result of our resolution um, will be much more thoughtful. <laughs> um, I, I think that we've just been able to spend time together on it, which I'm really grateful for. Yeah. Um, if I may interject um, about just before we get too ahead of the game, for 6A and 6B, um, just for my notes, who who is going to combine those? Who's taking that action item? I was going to. You will, Colette? Okay. Sorry, my, my crazy brain. <laughs> I needed to finish that. Oh, and I'll get that out. Um, you know, it, it has to, it'll come out with the agenda posting. <gasps> and so people can look at it and and, and maybe I'll work with a couple people just to make sure I do it correctly. But um, anyhow, um, unless Nikki, you want to do it, <laughs> I mean, you could do it. <laughs> what did I do here? <laughs> um, yeah, if you're working on the rubric, I'll let, I'm happy to, I'm happy to help you with that. No problem. Right. <laughs> okay. know. You know, Nikki, you were saying that, um, you are grateful for the time we have been together. And I want to echo that because, you know, when I was reading the minutes uh, that Jackie sent to us from June, May, June, July, uh -huh. I was really uh, happy to see how civil our discourse has been and how the statements that each of us have made have changed over the year. And really that is what we envision seeing in the community. Right. When we started here, we were like in really in the extreme part probably of a continuum. And we had a lot of uh, discussions and we were not on the same page. But as the months went by and really discussing all these things, we have came, we have arrived to a place where we can have these conversations and we can respect what each person said. And that is awesome because that is what we want to see in our community. Yeah, it's, it's, I love that you said that, Mercedes and, <clears throat> and Nikki, because really it's i i i feel kind of proud at at the civility that we found as a group this cuz we're a disparate group and um i i think that modeling that is modeling what this is all about so right so thanks thanks both of you for um so because i'm so bad at time people always have to kind of keep me on time um I think we have like another 10 minutes of this. So um, if we can, so for 6C, therefore the city of Sonora invites other local organizations and leaders to embrace this resolution so that we may come together in a united front against racism, hate, intolerance, and violent extremism. Is that, that feel right? Yeah, it does. Okay. Next page. Um, huh, this is interesting. Yeah, what is D? What? What is D? 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 6D? Yeah, the, whereas the these values will be reluctant in all government institutions, is that supposed to go into C? So um, it says there, these values will be reflected, um, but we, um, according to my notes, this, it says, whereas, so this started out as a whereas statement, um, but since it's actually an action statement, we moved it down to the therefores. I, I was confused as well, Darren. <laughs> so let's see. If this is a I got new eyeballs so I can actually sit back and read everything on my computer. Um, do we want to say that? Therefore, these values will be reflected in all local government institutions or do we want to say therefore? 
our hope or I mean, I don't know. It sounds like therefore. Yeah, yeah. it is definitely a therefore. Um, I definitely think we can say it in a way that it seems like it, like we're dictating something. Yeah. 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 I don't like the, it, it's really aggressive. Yeah. Well, you have to like, where's Smith? Where are you? Maybe, we, maybe we can, uh, maybe we can table this one and see if it comes up later. Or we can fit it in, attach it with something else, maybe use some words out of it. Yeah, and and so I was just thinking maybe, therefore, um, we invite um, all local all local government institutions to reflect these values or something. I don't know. I it it definitely is, feels jarring, and um, so if everyone can just sort of look at that and think about it for this next week and. And and right, let's move on. And maybe well, I'm wondering too if I know these aren't necessarily where they're going to be, but I'm wondering if it's in another location, if that might help. Yeah, it, maybe later in the resolution or something right. like wraps things up, or we talk about partnerships and stuff like that. Yeah, let's keep it for the moment. Okay. Um, okay, six E. Therefore, the city of Sonora. And remember, I put these little things in parentheses. So just under, just take that for what you will. Therefore, the city of Sonora will reach out to the Board of Supervisors, the Co Columbia College, business groups, and community organizations to adopt this resolution so we may, together as a community, to show united front against racism, hate, intolerance, and extremism. Did I forget? Did I read that incorrectly? Yeah, but we got it. I get what you're saying. I have to be honest with you guys. I feel really uncomfortable calling out any kind of other partners or um, I don't think that's our, our, our focus or what we were charged with here. Welcome to the Devil's Advocate Club, Nikki. No, I, I agree with you on that one because we don't know who, what, when, where is going to want to reach out and discuss or talk. I mean, we talk to the public just like you guys. I'll talk to people all day long. So saying that we have to do something with certain people, I'm kind of out against that one too. Absolutely. That's just not a genuine way to start a partnership. <laughs> the other thing to note is that um, on this one, sorry, it scrolled down. Um, it says intolerance and extremism, but the, I think two notches up, it said violent extremism. I thought we should just keep it consistent. Uh, that phrase, racism, hate, intolerance, and extremism, um, a couple yeah. of notches up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Nathan, I think at one previous meeting, we didn't like violent extremism. I thought that we just wanted extremism, but I can't, I might, it may have been the other way around. Yeah, it's 6C that has the violence on it. Yeah, 6C have it too. Yeah. So, which is it, extremism or violent extremism? I don't remember. That we like, what do people prefer? Well, I prefer violent because, um, you know, we're allowed, we're free to have extreme views. I mean, right. if you look at most religions, um, they have opposite views that could be seen as extreme to other groups. So yes. um, that's how that was how we settled it. You're right, Nathan. Yeah. 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 Okay. Violence is wrong, and extreme view is, is not necessarily. Well, and then two, I think um, separate from this, but on there, even if we were to just take out the direct identifying organizations, I think it sounds good. You know, we'll reach out to the business groups community. So I, that's a suggestion. Okay. I'll work on that one, on this one. Yeah, that does work. I will say I'm asking myself what is in 6E that hasn't already been said. Um, sort of the end of 6E is um, pretty much the same thing that is at the end of 6C. Mm -hmm. And that... Um, I'm sorry, that, it's at the end of 6B? C. 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 That, um, you know, we may come together in United Front. The language surrounding that is really at the end of 6C, um, which is nearly the same. 
and then the intention to um, have partners and community engagement partners is in 6A. So we've kind of already said these things. Mm -hmm. X, should I put an X through it? Um, I mean, can you put it a different is, color on so there? Harsh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, a like color. already already mentioned or something maybe, but yeah. I'll just put already mentioned and then then I'll address where it was mentioned. I think so. Are you guys good with that? Well, yeah, because remember that we took in making this table there were four or five different statements and we put it together. Right. So yeah, our work now is just to combine them. Keeping the yeah, combined, keeping sums, etc. Yeah. Yeah. So 6B and 6E are very similar. I will say, Colette, it's uh, 442, um, just to give you an idea of time, if we still wanted to take public comment on the resolution and then brainstorm for All right. next week. Thank you, Nikki. Yeah, thank you. All right, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna open this up to public comment. Um, anyone have a comment about the resolution? and the conversations that we've been having. And remember, we can't ask, answer any questions during public comment. Um, or I don't know how to say your name, F-V-E-R. F-Vera. Yes. F-Vera has his hand up. You're All muted right. too, he's talking, but he's muted. Just an observation. Um, most of what you're discussing is um, is covered. We already have rights and protections in place um, by the Civil Rights Act of 1964, and as far as I can see, I'm I'm technically Hispanic. My family's Hispanic. I haven't seen any discrimination. I haven't seen any white supremacist. Um, I haven't seen any proof of any violence towards any group or individuals in the, in the county. And um, what you're doing seems to tread really, really close to violating that Civil Rights Act of 1964, where you're not allowed to discriminate against base, race, religion, or national origin. And most of these proposals that you're placing, um, especially equity, we don't want equity, we want equality. The United States was built on equality for all. A lot, almost all of my friends are dead because they were willing to defend this country. And they died or were seriously injured defending the country for everybody. They didn't, it wasn't for select groups of people. <laughs> and have one commenter at time, please. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's bizarre. You know, I've, you, you can't, you can't, in law, there's, if two, if there are two ideas or laws in conflict, the first law has precedence over the second law. The Constitution is the underlying governing law of the United States. And um, you can't, you can't, you can't discriminate against anybody based on their race, religion, national origin already. And this is, you're, you're seriously treading very close to running a file of federal laws that are in existence. Um, and if you do tread on these laws, you can lose your, your, your grants, you can be sued. Um, where, where, where's the city's attorney in this? You know, the city's attorney should be giving you guidance, legal guidance, not to run afoul of these federal laws. 
because you are going to rain havoc on this community with this nonsense. Um, I, I, I am personally appalled. Um, I just need to interrupt for a second. Um, um, anyone been timing? Yeah, that's three minutes. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't want to overstep. I didn't know if Melissa was, or I'm happy to time too. Whatever works. Um, you know, Jackie usually does, but um, thank you. Okay. Um, I apologize. I will begin timing. Um, Tristan, I think you're next. Kudos. You're doing a great job. Hang in there. Thank you. And, and also, I'm sorry to, to cut you off, Mr. Vera. Um, Tom, Tom Crosby, I think you're next. Okay, good, thank you. Um, I know you're uh, intending to discuss in more detail the white supremacy culture component of this, which raises uh, a lot of uh, concern within the community that I know I'm having to field some of that. Uh, I was gonna just suggest, and I'm not expecting an answer here, of course, can't do that. I was gonna suggest that uh, if you replace white supremacy culture with the actual definition, um, I know it's much longer, but if people understood what it was that you were, you were trying to um, communicate, using the, those, that term, white supremacy culture. Um, there, if, you, if anyone were to grab that and go online and look up what that is, exactly what that means, um, uh, you know, then I'm just suggesting maybe if you read through that, and I think perhaps you already have many times, but um, actually coming out and saying exactly what those, those activities, those actions, those behaviors, those characteristics, are might be helpful for the community to, to understand what it is you're trying to accomplish. Thanks for hearing me out. Thanks, Tom. <clears throat> Anyone else? No more. Oops. Oh, there is yeah. one. Yeah, two. <clears throat> Ed was first and then David. Oh, I'm sorry, who was first? Ed. Oh, well, I don't see Ed. Ed? Ed, you're muted. He's, you're I muted. Can see, I can see I him see speak. I see it. Thank you. So um, I like what uh, Vera just shared. That was very good. Um, as I see it, this committee is really, I think, way out of line. I don't think there's any justification for your existence. I really don't. Um, you're going to be bringing about racial issues that don't even exist in this community. And we can see what's happened to Portland. We can see what's happened to San Francisco, Oakland, all of the same, same thing. You see property being destroyed, discord. It's, it's really awful. And this is what I feel like this committee is treading on. Um, I feel like if, uh, if you want to help, start teaching our children how to treat each other. But we don't have to uh, create laws to teach people morality. You have to learn that at home. So my thinking is, I wish you people would sit down and resign and uh, discontinue what you're doing. It's very harmful to this community. And I'm afraid that uh, we're gonna see a repeat of Oakland and San Francisco and every other city that's falling apart based on these types of um, attempts to be self-righteous. And um, so I would, uh, that, that's what I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Ed. David. David, you're muted. David Wynn. There we go. Uh, 
yeah, I don't need to add much more to that. Uh, I believe it's been said by the two gentlemen prior to myself. Um, I don't see any need or real reason for the committee. Uh, I have a, a copy of the preamble of our constitution, the, the words of our declaration of independence that pretty much would trump, and I don't mean that in any other way than the real term Trump, would trump this entire resolution. It's all there. We have our rights, we have our freedoms, we have our liberties, uh, they're there. We have laws, we have the Civil Rights Act 1964. Uh, I, I just think that you're gonna see a lot more pushback as this goes forward and goes to the city council. And you need to sit down and seriously ask for more community input than what you're getting on these Zoom meetings because it just, uh, I think you are, you're really overstepping where you need to be and where the community needs to be. I think it's kind of an insult to the community. I think it's demeaning and it's a presumptive and it actually is racist towards white people. So that's my comment. Thank you. Thanks, David. I think that was the last one. So we have seven minutes. Can I, can I borrow 30 seconds of time? So huh? not, not uh, to. I just, I just right. like to start. So we the room. Go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll let you have it. But I just want to tell them we're an advisory committee. We're not, you know, that, that oh, we don't sorry. make the final decision. No, com no, we don't need to offer an explanation. No, these are so, people here. We should be offering not explanations, but facts with them. They have questions to the point. These are the people of our community. You can't exclude them. That is literally what we're here to do. They Thank do you. have a right Thank to Thank you, Darren. Thank you. But I was asking for the turn to work. So I would like to share something before we start discussing the concept. Um, in October 2021, the American Psychological Association, APA, a scientific world, uh, I mean, nationwide organization formally acknowledge the harm it has perpetuated. They said, American Psychological Association said, since its origins as a scientific discipline in the mid 19th century, psychology has through acts of um, commission and omission contributed to the dispossession, displacement, and exploitation of communities of color. Furthermore, the API recognized its racist ideologies and behaviors are evidence in the health inequities experienced by BIPOC communities. And I just like these to go on record. So I will send uh, this information with the source. Okay. Um, Mercedes sent a copy of that to City Hall, to, to Melissa at City Hall and also to me, if you could please. <clears throat> okay, so we were going to spend a few minutes talking about white supremacy culture. So does anyone want to start? Nikki. Um, as we prepare for next week, um, I just wanted to make a proposal to the committee that um, at the beginning of our resolution that we consider writing an introduction. And there would be a couple reasons for this introduction, but I think we can all agree that this resolution is a bit different than resolutions that have been written before. And it's controversial, there's emotion. Um, and so I think to, um, to echo what one of our public commenters stated earlier, the importance of a definition and stating our intention is so important. Um, you guys, we live in a really special community, and my, my deepest belief is that we are all wanting the same things, 
we are just speaking different languages. And so if white supremacy culture and using these words are a trigger for some in the community, I don't want anybody to feel blamed, but I think it's important that we can, it's important and possible that we acknowledge without using words that are hurtful to everyone, right? And so if we were to write an introduction, it would not only give us the opportunity to say what our intention is, but it also gives us the opportunity to use our voices and also make it very clear and be explicit about what we're not trying to do. We are, this is not about an individual. This is not about blame. This is not about targeting white people. This is not about that at all. And I think that for some folks in the community who have been watching our progress over the past year, you can see how civil and wanting to unify that we are. There are many, many, many assumptions and accusations <laughs> about the work that we're doing. Um, we know what we're, we know who we are. We know what we're trying to do. And I think that an introduction would be an opportunity for us to be very explicit about our intention. And this is about um, a system and organization of organizational and institutional racism. This is about um, people in our community, you know, of color who don't feel sometimes a sense of belonging that others feel. And that's okay for them to ask for change. I just think I want us to just kind of consider using some language at the beginning, um, as has mentioned before, um, whether or not we choose to use white supremacy culture, um, but just defining and being explicit about our intention and defining any language so that it fits um, the actual definition and not and no room for interpretation. And if um, if you all are in agreement of that, I'm happy to get started on writing for that and bring something to the table for us to discuss next week. But I think an introduction would clear up a lot of um, misinterpretation and assumption and also just start our resolution off in a really positive way. Nikki, just for clarification, are you saying that each of us should write um, our definition that we believe what that word means and then a summary of what we believe. I'm not quite following him. No. Intent, intent of the no. resolution is what I think she's talking no, about. No, I'm saying, I'm saying um, that I think we, our resolution, our final resolution should have one introduction um, explaining uh, what our intention of the resolution is and also the nature of our work and what our vision is we talked a lot about vision at the beginning of, um, of our work and um, that, that this isn't meant to be about an attack on an individual or, um, or any individual blame. Um, because I think that that is, I've, I've listened, I've heard, I've listened to all of public comment throughout the past year. And the last thing I think we can all agree is that <clears throat> We don't want anyone to feel like our work is here to blame other people. This does not have to be a fight. And I think that we can, we can live peacefully together while satisfying kind of the wishes of, of all. Um, and I think that this is our opportunity to, to state that before our introduction. Um, and, and if using, you know, white supremacy culture is, is painful. I feel it because there's words that are painful. As a woman of color, there's words that break my heart into pieces. And I feel that. And I don't want anybody to read this resolution and feel that. And I think in December, part of our homework before the holidays was to write a definition, all of us, and to come back and bring that. We just haven't had a chance to kind of exactly. go over all of those. I would like. Yeah those guys talking that had comments. I want you guys to reach out to me. I don't know how to get my number. I don't want to say it over Zoom, obviously. Uh, I got, I'm gonna mess your name up. Firva, Fira. I want you to reach out to me. I have an email, I have Facebook, get to me, I'll get a phone number. Um, 
I'll get you. Find me on Facebook. It's the easiest. The other guys as well. I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about it. I think Nikki, you're on to something there. Intent of a decision, yes. But I don't want to cast other people's you know, visions of what this is doing aside either. If we have a vision, this is doing real well, and we think this is a good thing, then we should also listen to the opposition. Only and a stupid I wouldn't, man does I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have really thought about the idea of an introduction unless I haven't been. Um, what I'm hearing from people is that they're, and you included, Darren, is there, there are words that are painful, white supremacy culture being one of them. And I, I hear, I get it. I think there's an opportunity for us to um, really get to the heart of this work and acknowledge the heart of that work without using words that are painful I think a lot of these a lot of these guys are kind of old-fashioned how there's a hundred ways to skin a cat and this is new age stuff where you know there, there's a lot of question there's a lot of frustration and exactly not and, paying and attention to uh, would sorry. clear that up a little bit you know I said before uh, and I'm sorry for the one that want to talk but the public comments have been closed yeah, we can't take your comment uh, so, again legally. Uh, it has taken for the members of this <laughs> committee one year of having discussions. And I think that Darren was on the same place that Ed and some others that spoke were one year ago. But through the conversations, I believe, Darren, that you get to understand what it was about. And that is my hope that other people, we don't need to water down the work we are doing. We don't need to feel bad about the work we are doing because if it would not be need for this work, we would not have like organizations so powerful, like the American Psychological Association apologizing for the work they have done. And there are so many other organizations that have been putting out reports that are evidence-based because they have studied what happened in the communities. So I think that this is a time where we need to hear each other, but it is not the time for one group of opinions to prevail. It is a time where we can listen to one another and you know, we can, we can understand where you come from, why you are saying what you are saying, and you also need to understand why we are saying and working on what we are doing, because we have experienced these situations in our own community. Open dialogue Sorry. is the most important. I agree with you. Go ahead, Nathan. You usually don't ever. Oh, I was just going to say, I think one of the problems with the discussion of white supremacy is that sometimes it's characterized as if uh, someone's feelings are just being hurt or it's a trigger word and people just sort of need to get over it. And I don't believe that's the case at all. I believe that there's a, a fundamental principle um, that, that people, people have principles. They believe something is true and the, the white supremacy culture comments are going against what they believe is the actual reality. So it's not a matter of like, oh, people just need to not get their feelings hurt. They believe that this this discussion is actually damaging. That it that that this this invisible you know uh, administrative white supremacy culture that is supposedly over the U.S. that that's actually doesn't exist. That that it's not true, and that this sort of philosophy is actually damaging. So I don't think that you're going to get people to just you know oh don't get your feelings hurt. And I also heard uh, someone say that we don't want to fight. You put that word in this resolution, you're going to get a fight. There's no way around it. I'm sorry, you can't you can't do that. So. Um, if that if that terminology white supremacy gets put in here, expect to fight whether you want it or not. I so, agree hundred percent. I'm I'm ready to die I, on that sword. I know I we're I out think, of time. <laughs> it's after five, so um, 
Um, so what we need to decide is, is do you want a introduction? Um, Tristan, I'm not opening this back up to public comment. I'm sorry, um, that already happened. Um, so do you want an introduction? Do you want an attempt at an introduction or? No, no now. I, I would say, let's think about it because it seems to me, let's, let's think about it, put it in the agenda for the next meeting and to discuss if an introduction is necessary or Perfect. if there are other, other measures that we could take. Like I, I am thinking also uh, something that was said about we don't need equity but we need equality. And I think there is also a huge misunderstanding about that. So mm -hmm. maybe we need to have uh, a community um, workshop with where everyone can come and we can really get to the roots of what is, how it shows up, you know, and then we can decide if we need an introduction or not. Mm -hmm. I thought so we had decided to discuss the white time. supremacy issue. Yeah, mm -hmm. next meeting is white supremacy. And we're going to need a yeah. whole meeting. And I think maybe we can. Um, it, how do you guys feel about researching some definitions? We already did that. We agree on doing that in December. And at the beginning of this, um, of the work of the committee, we created some definitions. And during the community workshop, we also talk about the common language and we have some, so I think it would be a matter of reviewing them and see what needs to be added to. Yeah, you know, I, that, the glossary never really went anywhere that, that um, and my guess <clears throat> is some of those definitions won't change. So maybe, so let's just say so everyone come next week next week prepared to you know with with your definition I don't know if we're going to talk about everyone's definition or not but just come prepared to talk about white supremacy culture um, I did text you I won't be able to make next week I know we're trying to get everybody together but I already uh -huh. take off an hour from work so I can't I won't be here next week if we're trying to add the extra meeting okay mm -hmm. Sorry about that. It's actually not okay, but um, I, okay. Um, all right. I, I'm going to. This is it's 5:08, and this is, this is we really only had an hour um, allotted for this. So um, thank you all. Thank you for the public for signing on. Um, thank you. We 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 do appreciate the interest. So with that, I'm going to close this social equity committee um, meeting.